So it's sixth and spring garden in that area. You go to Callow Hill, Wood Street, go over to Arch. Basically about five blocks over. So here's where Trump is today. He's at the town town hall. It's going to be at 9 p.m. tonight. It's basically a five minute. I could pretty much walk there. Well, I can jog there. I'd say because traffic in Philly, it's basically like walking, maybe jogging. So I think I'd get there in about, I'd say 10 minutes with a, with a walk. So Trump is here in Philly today talking about Governor Wolf's uh, mishap. And Trump's judge, whose name is William Stickman, is the one that ruled, overruled his irrational uh, restrictions for this pandemic, the shutdown, violating the First Amendment, our First Amendment right and our 14th Amendment. President Donald Trump in Philadelphia for town hall at National Constitution Center. Tuesday, which is today. President Donald Trump is scheduled to be in Philadelphia participating in a town hall meeting Tuesday night. Early Tuesday, you could see the barricades set up around Independence Mall in anticipation of the town hall hosted by ABC at the National Constitution Center. Well, it looks like I'm going to head down there around lunch, see if I can catch Trump somewhere. Maybe you'll give a shout out. Trump is reacting to a new court ruling that calls some of Pennsylvania's coronavirus restrictions unconstitutional. As well, the president will be in our area today to participate, to participate in an ABC News town hall focused on undecided voters. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live at the National Constitution Center with more on everything going on. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Tammy. Yeah, the president's going to be in town today, and you can see the setup beginning here outside the National Constitution Center, all the barricades uh, set up around Independence Mall in anticipation of this town hall hosted by ABC. The president comes here after a visit to Arizona, where he reacted to a federal court ruling. The Governor Wolf's pandemic restrictions were unconstitutional. We had a big victory just now in Pennsylvania. I don't know if you heard about it. They were ordered to open it up, a federal judge, and open it up and let the people uh, get back to work. U.S. District Judge William Stickman, appointed by President Trump, sided with the plaintiffs, calling Governor Wolf's orders in March initiated by the pandemic unconstitutional, specifically the restriction of large gatherings, the shuttering of non-life-sustaining businesses, and a stay-at-home order. The suit was filed during the state's red phase when most businesses were closed, and Wolf has since eased many of those restrictions. An attorney who represents the plaintiffs said that current restrictions, like limits to gathering size, can't be enforced. The governor's office says they will appeal. One local salon owner said she's been struggling but believes the governor's actions were in the interest of public health. We've never been in a pandemic before. This is new to us, so I think that as a At least she has owner, it down. That's good to see. And one of the things we practice is safety first, so I just respect his decision. As far as what's happening today here at the National Constitution Center, undecided voters will be able to ask the president questions. The program will air tonight at 9 p.m. on Channel 6.